Okay, so first I will create two virtual machine, a Windows virtual machine. Then I will create a storage account. Let's see how we can do that. So I'll show you actually what is the architecture. So paint. So listen. So I'm just going to create one minute. Let it come. Okay. So I'm just going to create two virtual machines. So virtual machine one. So this is my virtual machine one. So VM one and copy and control V. So I'll create two virtual machine. Okay. Then I will create uh, one file storage. Okay. So this is my file storage. File storage. Okay, so I'll create two virtual machine and then file storage. So later I will mount this file storage with my sorry exactly VMs. Okay, simultaneously, so this VM will be able to communicate with this file storage. So whatever the file I'm uploading to this VM, okay, so the same as this VM one will so VM two will be able to access the uh, file. Okay, that's the purpose. Okay, VM one and VM two. Any doubt? Very simple concept. First I will create two virtual machine. Uh, at a time so then I'll go to my file storage uh, so the, sorry I will go to storage then I will create a file storage so there I will uh, create one <laughs> okay so there I will create a storage first then I will create a file storage so this is we going to demo doing all okay so first uh, let me go to Azure portal so first I will create a virtual machine go to virtual machine so click create select Azure virtual machine and select your resource group and I will call it as VM1 okay VM1 whatever it can be I will go with the default value but I will select the operating system over here okay so let me select uh, Windows operating system come down so I will put password as Ashik 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 at the rate 1 2 3 fine Ashik Ashik at the rate 1 2 3 fine okay uh, that is enough see uh, we know that actually with the purpose is we only need to create two virtual machine right so I'm not going to create any custom being at over here only just create a virtual machine so by default they will create a custom virtual network fine so not a custom default virtual network so I will review plus create yeah it's creating so meanwhile I will open another tab then I will create one more virtual machine So once it validated, then I will try to create. Wait. Okay. So create. So I'll create one more virtual machine. Select your resource group, as we did earlier. I'll select VM2. And one more thing, make sure. See whatever the name you given for VM1, so that you cannot give over you. Okay. You have to give a new name over you. Okay. Because that is a unique. Okay. So here you can see that uh, you'll be get uh, I like some snippets over you. If you want, you can just go through that. So I will select my Windows operating system, Windows Server 2022 Data Center. So I will create username and password. Ashik. Ashik. Ashik at the rate one two three. Ashik. Ashik at the rate one two three. Fine. So I will select uh, review plus create, and it's going to create a virtual machine. Okay. Okay, uh, create. So now I will open one more tab, then I will create my storage account over there. Let's see how we can create a storage account. Okay, to create storage account, you have to search storage. Okay, so I will search storage. So select your storage account. Under the storage account, we can create multiple types of storage account. For example, file, queue, table, containers, blob. Okay, so I will open my storage account. So here you can see that first we need to create a storage account. As of now, I don't have any storage account. So we need to create <coughs> one storage account. So you unsaved edit will be discarded. Okay, no problem. So click on storage account. You can see that we don't have any storage account. No storage account to display. So once you create a storage account, then you can create multiple variants of storage inside the storage account. Okay. So click on create. Then I will select class and order. Ah, okay. And class in the middle. Okay. 
uh, I will select the storage account name and let me put the storage account name. My storage. Then I will select. See, and one more thing. See, uh, if you if you creating a storage account name and that should be unique all over the world. Okay, that should be unique in a Microsoft Azure level at least. Okay, so I will put my storage one two three. Let me check. Yeah, it's already took some someone. So one my one two three four. Let me try. No. So then one two three again. Yeah, it's available. Okay, so now I will create a storage account. So we have a different kinds of storage account. For example, highly availability. So that we are going to discuss later. Okay, so now I will create the storage account. Uh, review. Ine. Illa, illa. Karanda ne ichi na. This region or personal amak. Karanda. There is salatta the allocate ina the. Oru salanu or naalipak samule. ഒരു ഡാറ്റ സെന്റർ അലോകേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് നമുക്ക് എന്ത് ചെയ്യാം ത്രൂ ഇന്റർവ്യൂ വഴി കണക്ട് ചെയ്യാം അപ്പൊ നിങ്ങൾ ആലോചിച്ച് നോക്കി എന്റെ സിസ്റ്റത്തിലോട്ട് വരെ കണക്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും ലോക്കൽ സിസ്റ്റത്തിലോട്ട് ആക്സസ് ആണ് ആർക്ക് വേണ്ടത് ആക്സസ് അതെ കറക്റ്റ് അത് നമുക്ക് റീജിയൻ ആ എവിടെയാണെങ്കിലും കറക്റ്റ് ഇപ്പൊ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞു യു എസ് നിങ്ങൾ ക്രിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്തു ഇന്ത്യ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ആക്സസ് ചെയ്യാം എവിടുന്ന് ആക്സസ് ചെയ്യാം എന്റെ സിസ്റ്റം ആക്സസ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് അതേമാതിരി ഓക്കെ സോ നോ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഡിപ്ലോമെന്റ് ഇൻ പ്രോഗ്രസ് സോ വൺസ് ഇറ്റ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ദൻ ഐ വിൽ ക്രിയേറ്റ് എ ഫയൽ ഷെയർ ഇൻസൈഡ് ദി സ്റ്റോറേജ് അക്കൗണ്ട് So before I'll go to my virtual machine, then I'll try to access my both virtual machine. Okay. I'll go to my virtual machine, go to resource. So go to overview and connect, then select RDP protocol and download this file. Download. So keep this file, then try to access. Connect. so more choice we have to put our new username and password ashik 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 at the rate 123 i think everything is okay then click okay okay now it's connecting right we now need to uh, reset our password and all see if you waiting for at least 4 to 5 minutes automatically it will connect okay but we have to wait till that day So now successfully I connected uh, my virtual machine. Same as I will go to my virtual machine too. Just click on this window. Like, let's minimize. Okay, I'll, I'll just click over here. Okay, then I'll go to my VM again. So this is my VM two. Select VM two. So select overview, then connect, then select RDP protocol again. Then select RDP file. Click on Keep. Select your virtual machine to connect. Some more choice. Use a different account. I will select Ashik. 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 At the rate one two three. Fine. So now click on OK. Successfully connected my two virtual machine. Right. So now I'll go to the third tab. My storage tab. It's already created. Right. So inside this storage, I can create multiple type of storage account. For example, uh, for example, what is it? File queue, table, containers, blob, right? Okay. So now I can see that I am inside my storage one two three four one two three, right? So here you can see that I can go, I can create containers, I can create a file share, I can create queues, I can create tables. So here you can see that see containers, file, and queue and table. See containers that we can that is a unstructured data and file share that is. file types of file for example that will be hierarchy of a folders and uh, directories will be uh, directory and folders will be contained over there and we can connect with the multiple virtual machine that should actually uh, this icon is like that okay so queue what is the queue it's a message, message queue message, message queue. queue one by one it will take and it will consume okay so table that's for structured data okay fine so now i will select file share so we can create a file share over here as of now i don't have any file share so just click on file share So just call it as uh, my drive. We can put any name. Okay, there is a no like uh, restriction on naming or not. There is no naming convention. We can put any name, no problem. So then I will create this file share create. So it's creating storage file. Okay, successfully created. Now you can see that I successfully created my drive file share. I will open this. But there will be cotton now. Eh? Yeah. So I, it's highly scalable. highly scalable see whatever the data you putting over there automatically it will grow and whatever the data you withdrawing from that storage automatically it will shrink like that okay so here you can see that i successfully open my file share 
so now i will connect this file share with my virtual machine to connect your uh, connect this file share with the virtual machine you have to click connect okay so i'll just click on connect so we have a three option we can connect with the windows virtual machine or linux virtual machine or mac operating system so i will select windows since i opened my windows operating system so then uh, select any letter over you you can select z or y x y whatever you want no custom values okay so i will select v so then uh, show script okay just click on show script so just copy the script it's mandatory just copy the script then go to your virtual machine one this is my vm one and i will remove this first okay so then i'll go to powershell okay we have to go to powershell so before i'm going to powershell so i will check whether i have any drive or not so how to check my pc, my PC that's it right i'll go to my my pc so we can go to pc or we can just click on a windows icon e automatically it will open okay you can see that i'll go to my pc and uh, here you can see that i have windows e and uh, temporary storage i don't have any other storage except these two am i right or wrong right okay so i'll go to powershell so open powershell so when you opening powershell it's better you can go with administrator access okay just click over you then run as administrator you'll be get a root privilege okay so then click on run, run as administrator so whatever the uh, text you copied from azure level so that you have to paste over you. i'll paste over you and you can see that connection test test is equal to net connection computer name my storage one two three four file corner so once it's successfully done automatically this file will be mounted on our system then we can access let's wait you can see that a credential added successfully and we got one storage over you my drive right okay so i'll go to my azure level again and uh, before i will open this storage so do i have any file over here no i don't have any file i'll i'll just minimize this window i'll go to my azure level i'll just close this i'll go to my azure level then upload a image or photos whatever i want i will upload one image so just click over click over your selective file desktop then select any image okay here you can see that aws centralized logging architecture i will open this image and upload so now i successfully uploaded one architecture image in my storage account right in azure itself i, I uh, uploaded right so i'll go to my virtual machine then i will check whether the image is visible over there or not see aws centralized image if i open this you'll be able to find the image on your virtual machine inside your virtual machine see i am able to, able to access this image that quite simple right same as now i'll go to my virtual machine too i'll repeat the steps again any doubt no so i'll go to my virtual machine too let me just minimize this window minimize no just keep it so i'll go to my virtual machine too uh, i'll close everything no so close this window go to your powershell so run as administrator just click right button then open run as administrator so meanwhile you can open your this pc as well then you can check whether it is already visible or not see if i go to this pc you can see that i don't have any drive over here right but i will copy and paste the link over here automatically so that i will be visible for my vm2 as well you can see that this is my vm2 and so previously we were in vm1 okay waiting for the response we no need to enable any firewall rule and all automatically it will accept it okay then any command just just copy and paste that see successfully it's mounted so i'll open this and here you can see that aws centralized logging architecture okay and one more thing if i minimize this window i'll go to my uh, azure level here you can see there are only one file i have right if you creating any file inside that virtual machine automatically that file will be visible in azure itself so i'll go to my virtual machine one or two then i will create a text file let me create a new then text document ashik test whatever we can put any name no problem i'll just minimize this window so then i'll refresh and i can see the ashik test over here okay so, we go to the solution too you can see that definitely i'll go to my virtual machine one as well you can see the automatic give it visible okay it's quite simple any doubt ചോദിച്ചോളൂ